flange skillet BX. This is how you will receive it. First, depth gauge. Place that over there for a second. Remove packing. It will now fit the gasket. Making sure it is centered. We found it helpful to tap it with a hammer. Fit retaining wire. Again, making sure it is centered. You can now tighten these straps if required. This is now tight and ready for the diver. Here we have a depth gauge, three holes, 5, 10, 15,000 psi. And this may be used as a depth gauge. Flange on the vertical hull flange with the supplied skillet. Let's come down. Let's come down one more inch. Coming down one more inch. Let's make let's make sure we don't get this thing too tight where we can't get the wire out. Oh yeah, right. Oh no, I still got about uh, three quarters of an inch gap in between the flange spaces. Roger. And my O-ring groove is lining up perfect. Roger. It's right on the money. Down one and stop. All right, I had no movement, so I guess I'm gonna have to bring it together oh, with the with the impact. Roger. How are we looking? Looking good. Okay. O-ring is captured. It is uh, in the groove 360 degrees around. Roger. Roger, and uh, let's go ahead and remove the skillet. Roger that. Roger, <clears throat> cutting the wire. Cutting the wire. Wire's cut, pulling the wire out, and removing the skillet. The skillet is removed. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the basket. And then I'm going to... Let's double check that all of the wire is out of this. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right. And let's uh, show us the skillet with the two the pieces cut there. Here's one. That's right where I cut it. Roger. Look down and show us the half moon. Roger. All right. You just have to back off a bit. It shouldn't take much to get that because it's only the uh, the top. The skill it's only really in the top half.
still got something in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's low. That's low. Let's get it to me now. Okay, just look up, Steve. Why won't you bring that out? I'll go. Excellent. Thanks very much, Lodge.